Hello. Hey, Gerald. Hello. It's Tuesday. This is Tamara's Paper Trail, and I am Tamara. Welcome to Check It Out Tuesday. Give me a hidey ho. Let me know who's out there tonight. I'll just wait. I'm an early, I'm, I'm one minute early. So this, oh, maybe I should, that's not a good look, hey? <laughs> the lighting, hi, Carmen, hello. Heidi ho how are you? We haven't chatted in a while. Hi, Coral. There's Jen. I like the early ones. Hi, Melanie. What are we checking out today? Well, Carmen. I need to teach you how to make this fabulous card of awesomeness. Uh -huh -huh -huh. And so I'm going to teach you a few tips and tricks on how to do that. And then whatever else comes up along the way. Hi, Christine. Hi, Mary. We'll just wait. We'll just hang out. This is, uh, hi, Pat. Howdy ho. Hi, Linda. Linda from Moose Jaw. Hello. There's Janet, my knitting fiend. Hi, Nikki. Holly, hello. Nice to sort of see your name. <laughs> it's not fair. You guys get to see me. And I have to brush my hair every time I come. And put pants on. Well, I guess you don't have to put pants on. You know, you wouldn't know. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hi, Shayla. Thanks for popping in. Jennifer. Well, how nice of you to be on time. We're honored. Hey, Jackie. Hello. Are you sticking around, Jackie? Are you just popping in to say hi? Because look at the card I'm making. Jackie, you got to check this out. Everybody, you all know Jackie Bulcher, the Pampered Stamper. My squirrel friend from down east. Hi, Cherie. Oh, bonjour, Lucy. Edna. Howdy ho. My heart and home came tonight. Oh, did it? Okay. Good for you, Jennifer. Anyway, this is the card we're going to be checking out how to make. Huh? Now act surprised. Okay, you guys, like I shouldn't be doing this tonight, but honestly, I got home at 5.40. I ate dinner until 6.30 because, you know, microwaving my food takes a long time. Anyway, I came down at 6.40 to clean up from last night. Pop it in to say hi. Uh, thank you. Okay, well, get on that. I know I still have I still have a eulogy to write tonight, so I've got lots to do too. But thanks for popping in. Catch the replay if you can. This is going to be on my blog hop um, Thursday morning um, with the gang. So I shouldn't be I shouldn't be um, showing this off really. It should be a surprise for the blog hop. But uh, because I've been so busy, it was this or nothing. <laughs> so, and I love this card so much. You need to see the tips and tricks. I've told you um, on the blog post, uh, I have a written version and photographic tutorial, but you need to see how to make these little polka dots. Now it's not focused. <laughs> uh, it's not as simple as just putting behind, um, well, it is that simple, but not in Tamara land, right? These are actually pieces that are popped in. So they're cut out and popped in. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Thanks, Jackie. Anyway, you, uh, good luck with that newsletter. <laughs> we'll chat, we'll chat, girl. Uh, so uh, let's just get started. Did I miss anybody in here? Who else we got online? We got Sheree, hello, and yeah, we got Lucy and Edna. Okay, oh, there's Donna snuck in. I didn't see there, Donna, hi. Hi, 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 okay. Yes, and there's Carmen, yes. <laughs> Jennifer, we only taught you the swear words, right? I know. Um, okay, so we are going to get started. I think the lighting is so-so. Oh, honestly, Jackie, that is the one. Hi, Jennifer. Um, writing newsletters, that's my least favorite job. And you can tell because I send out a newsletter about every three weeks. Hey, Bernice, Bernice and Edna in the same night. Come on, sisters in different provinces. I love it. Okay, we are going to get started um, with how to make this. And we're going we're gonna to be using some kitchen roll. Ah, uh, I should have called myself the kitchen stamper because half of my kitchen is down here. I've got baggies. Um, I've got the rubbing alcohol, I've got um, shampoo, gel, some uh, hairspray. <laughs> I've got all kinds of stuff down here that I'm like, really? This is like the bathroom is in my is in my cave here. But um, <laughs> time for Tamara and tea. Well, Sheila, oh, that could be the name of my next blog post, Tamara and tea. <laughs> all right, we're going to start. I actually did prep some pieces, which is very unlike me. I don't know. I must have been procrastinating on something else. We're going to start with our standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half, and we're going to fold it in half. And of course, we're going to bring in our trusty bone folder. 
just give it a nice crisp fold. Then I've got two layers. So my basic white layer here is four and three quarters by three and a half. She said confidently measuring just in case she's wrong. Yes, four and three quarters by three and a half. And then I brought in a crumb cake layer that is four and three quarters and two ticks by three and a half and two ticks, right? That's Tamara language. But if we bring in the Donna ruler, right? And if you weren't here last night, let's do it because we do it every show. Amazon, ladies, order it up. Okay, so the Donna ruler says four and three quarters and two ticks, which in grown-up language is four and seven eighths. And this way it is three and a half and two ticks, which in grown-up language is three and five eighths. Okay, so those are our pieces for the main card. We're going to run this through. Now, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Tracy, are you in the house tonight? Where's my lovely assistant, Tracy? Um, I'm thinking, is this the Bark 3D embossing folder? Because when I went to write my blog post, I thought this was not the Bark one. I thought it was something else. And then I couldn't find what this was. And so then I just said, okay, this is the Bark one. But I don't know if it's really the Bark one. I thought the Bark one was more barky. I don't know. Anybody want to take a guess? Is this the bark or not? <laughs> have no audio for... Oh, was that me? Did anybody else have audio? Who knows? Anything goes on this show. I'm just going to find... Because there was... There was... I don't know. Who's in the house? Script? No. Is it the bark one? Thank you, Jennifer. I'm just going to double check now that I've got it sitting beside me. When I was doing my blog post, it was... Um, the, the, this was all the way downstairs, so I only had my catalog. So 3D Bark, like, I don't know, this doesn't look as detailed and deep, but I guess if I ever labeled them, it would help. It is. Okay, well, we're going to go with Bark. It's very Bark-like. So I'm going to run this through the embossing folder with my number four plate, which... I label for myself. I know it now, but in the early days it didn't. It does, doesn't it? Okay, Tracy. I thought there was another one that was very similar to this, though. I don't know. Maybe I weeded it out of my stash and put it in the retired section, as I should. So, because I thought everything in my drawer was current. So, I guess this could be the bark one. All right. So, because this card is a horizontal version, I'm running it through the folder sideways. If it was going to be an up and down. I would do it this way, just because I want the lines running along the side of the page like that. So I'm going to run it through the machine. This card took me two hours to come up with. But it won't take two hours to replicate. I hope. <laughs> I bet you hope too. All right. So time-worn type. No, that's not Carmen. That one is, there's words on that one. That's how I know. This is the time warm type because uh, there are actual words in there. Good guess though. The wrinkled paper one. Yes. Did it? Okay. Okay. Thanks, Tracy, because this is very liney. That's a word, liney. <laughs> All right. So bringing in the silicone mat because it works every single time instead of having to advance your tape. So I'm going to tape this to this. So it just gives a little hint of the crumb cake in behind it. Okay. Ah, nuts, McGillicuddy. I forgot to do the stamping first. I did this before too. Okay. So on this one, I did the stamping first and then ran it through the embossing folder because now I have to stamp on the bumps. You big dough head. Okay. Well, that's fine. Some days, some days. All right. Uh, now, this piece I cut out with the largest of our Lorraine circle dies. <laughs> I had a bit of a brain fart there. And I did not cut it out of crumb cake because I wanted this crumb cake uh, mushroom to pop a little bit more. So you can see the very subtle difference in color. This is Sahara sand. And this is crumb cake right so cut that out I already did that look at me go so this is going to help me in my positioning for my words 
Uh, this is Anything is Possible, and that is from the stamp set, hand penned, something or other. Don't know where to put it. Does it matter? Do you see it? Yes, you do. Hand penned, flowers, hand penned, something hand penned. Something penned by hand. Here it is. Do -do -do -do. Hand penned petals. Here we go. So this is Anything is Possible. Now, I think I want, is this a nice sympathy card or is it too cheery? What do you think? Do you think I could do a sympathy out of this one? Feel better. Congratulations. See, look at me going rogue already, hey? Um, um, plus, like, I figure I'm just going too fast. It's only, it's already eight minutes after and uh, hugs, prayers, love. No, nope, hate that. <laughs> Um, but up um, this one. Ooh, I like this. Cherished friend, you're my person. Just because, wildly grateful, heartfelt. Love is what makes us family. Oh, I love that one too. Too cheery, is it, Donna? Oh, all right. Well, how about let's cheer you up? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hmm. Always. I want something fairly small. But again, it needs to make sense to me. Like this, I'm like, anything is possible. You can be a mushroom and grow in the darkness. That makes sense to me. It's possible, right? Okay, fine. I'll go with anything is possible. Just because I know it works in my head. All right, that's what we'll do. Now, uh, I'm using a puppy parade. So we're going to ink this up. And I can tell it needs ink because it's a different, you can see the different color slightly different. So I'm going to ink it up on the edge where it might be a little bit juicier. And this is in the poppy parade. Did I say that four times already? Probably. So just for positioning, because I'm just uh, a little challenged in these regards, I'm going to place my circle approximately where I want it. So I know where I have to stamp it. So I am going to go right here, try to get it straight. And so I'm going to push and I'm going to give it a little bit of a wiggle because I am stamping on bumps and that's not going to be ideal. It's pretty darn good. Not bad. Not bad. What color was the sentiment? <laughs> Tracy. Smarty pants. Call you a smart aleck. Let's call you something else, but this is a family G rated show. No, it's not. Okay. So I've done the stamping so I can actually pop this up on dimensionals and get it out of the way. Look, it's 712. I'm going to have to come up with some other things to show you going way too fast it must be that fizz stick I had my energy my energy fizz sticks that I might be slightly addicted to to stay alive <laughs> it's been a day you guys it's been a day I found pants oh I'm excited I found pants two pairs of pants one I don't like but I bought them anyway because it was the first store I went into and I thought, what if I don't find any pants? Okay, like for anybody who didn't tune in yesterday, first of all, shame on you. You should have been here last, yesterday. I have a funeral to go to um, on Thursday and the prayers on Wednesday and I'm giving the eulogy. So it'd be nice if I had some pants on, uh, you know, I got nothing that fits. So I went out and the first store, I found some that I don't love, but again, it, it fit my bum. So... It was my backup pair. And then I did five spoiled for choice. I had two other ones that, and I found a blazer and then I treated myself to a new sweater. This isn't it. But anyway, I digress. I digress. All right. So we're going to have our little circle. This is, this is ready to roll. So now we're going to get into the nuts and bolts of this stuff. Oh, Jennifer, don't encourage her. Both of you, I will ban you. I will ban you hard. Okay. So these mushrooms. They come from a little known die set. Well, you should know it if you've watched me before because I've pointed it out before. I haven't used it before, but in my ever in my ever something mission, ever ever in my non end in my ever I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm always anyway, I want to use everything I bought. So I bought the Iconic dies. They do not have a coordinating set. I know. She, well, I didn't say they fit great because I'm very, I've got really big saddlebags and a really big bum. 
Uh, but my, also my saddlebags, it's tough and I have a small waist, so it's a weird shape. But anyway, I've got a, the shirt covers the bad bits, so it's okay. It'll be, right. It'll be fine. It covers what needs to cover. <laughs> Welcome to the island, Tracy and Jennifer. That's right. One requirement, you have to like curling. <laughs> Never ending. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy, for knowing what I'm trying to say. Hi, Judy Murphy from Sook, Canada, which I've never heard of, but welcome. <laughs> Squirrel, or as Craig says, flutter, because I'm his little butterfly flitting from thing to thing. Iconic dyes, $39. I needed these for the mushrooms. I don't know when I came down with a love of mushrooms, but I, I love them. I know, Mary. Leggings. I'm so sick of leggings. I could just puke. I just <laughs> I want tight jeans. Anyway, back to my mushrooms. I like them. The bird, I don't know. It's a little creepy. I don't need flowers. The bee looks more like a wasp and I don't love him. Don't know what I would do with these, uh, but I like this leaf too. But I bought the dyes really for these two mushrooms. Okay, so there they are. They do not have a coordinating stamp set. So it's easy to miss if you're not sitting there reading the back of the catalog like I do. <laughs> so here they are. I keep them. Um, I keep them. I keep them in a case uh, with my whimsy dies. That's where those are. <laughs> this is what happens when I clean up. These should be on a ring hanging somewhere that I can find them. But anyway, they're in this and they're on magnet sheets. And here they are. Mushroom one, mushroom two, and leaf. Come on, leaf. You can do it. Uh, that's a fern, right? That would be a fern, not a leaf. Well, just, well it's a fern leaf. Okay, we'll call it a learn. <laughs> a leaf fern. Okay, so here's where the trick part comes in to get multicolored mushrooms. You're making the exception, Donna? Okay, cool. All right, uh, so I'm going to get out some scrap white. And I'm going to get some scrap crumb cake. And I'm going to get some scrap, whatever this is, red, poppy, great. <laughs> In case you've forgotten. Tracy. Trouble with your Tracy. TT. I call you TT from now on. That's a smaller piece. All right. And then... Just for shits and giggles, we're going to bring in our cut and emboss machine. I think I have room here. And you're going to watch the magic happen, she said. Okay, so I'm bringing in my sandwich, which is my thin adapter die. And my mangiest, mangiest, grungiest cutting pads. The grungier, the better. They've got quite a few, though, Nikki. Uh, uh, they've got quite a few dies. Well, quite a few. There's maybe four or five without coordinating stamp sets. So we've been through this a few times in the catalog. But aside from the iconic, there's the diorama, layering diorama dies. There's some that have had the stamp set retire, but the dies did not. Um, like, well, here's another one. The picture this. Those are just dies with no stamp set. The... Stitch Greenery, if you do not own this, you are missing out. You need this. Hi, Linda. Cataract surgery. Oh, my gosh, you're having a week, my friend. Wow. Okay, well, thank you for popping in. Um, and then there are the switch, the stitch so sweetly. The stamp set retired, but they brought, they kept the framelits. Uh, the stitch triangles. I don't know if there's a current set that goes with that one. I don't think so because it doesn't quote it. Um... The Whimsy dies, those are standalone. So there's quite a few. Oh, and the, the Tasteful Label. No, that coordinates with that one. Um, I thought there was the the Halloween ones. It, um, it was with a Halloween set, and then the Halloween set retired, but they kept the dies. Uh, hang on, hang on. I don't know where they are. Anyway, I digress. There's a few of them. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, it is quite fine that my cutting plat pads are this disgusting. And here is why. So what we need to do is we need to run through the mushrooms in, a, in all of the colors. And then we're going to piecemeal them back and forth. Ornate tags. Thank you, Donna. Yes, thank you. Um, so I'm going to start by... Mm -mm -mm. I need white. I don't need many of the red dots. So I'm going to start off by cutting 
my red uh, mushroom. And I'm actually going to do it in both of these, um, the big and the small, and only because I want these dots. And why not? So I'm putting down my sandwich like this. Now I'm going to do it a couple of ways. I'm going to experiment tonight because I didn't try it this uh, uh, the second way that I'm going to try it and I want to. So we're running it through the machine. Step one. Mm, triangle had a matching stamp set. Yeah, exactly, Jennifer. There's a couple um, that matched it. Okay. Now I'm going to try to move, take off this plate without moving everything. So it's not working so well so far, but anyway. Okay. No, it is. It's working. It's, it's sort of okay. So see what's happening here. We didn't want this to happen, but it did. Um, so my dies moved. It's okay. Take the dies away. So we've, we're left with our little mushrooms. Now, ideally you don't want these pieces to have moved at all. So I'm just going to pop these back in the holes because life is um, not too short for that at all. Now, if you have, if you might need your putty tool for this. And actually, this is kind of um, not a necessary step because I don't need these dots on this big one. Okay, I lost my putty, my putty guy. Yoo-hoo! Putty. Lost my putty one. Here it is. Yeah, okay. So if you need to, you pick it up with your little putty tool and put it back. So I want these guys back in their original holes. That's the right one. I'm missing one. That's okay. This is the guy we... Oh, that's because this goes over here. Arch. It's like a puzzle. Okay, stay there. All right, and this little guy, I think, came from over here. I don't know where he came from. Doesn't matter. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to ever so carefully lift off our mushrooms but leave these polka dots exactly where they were therein the trick lies so I take my pokey tool and I'm going to try to lift this up but not move the polka dots wish me luck this is what I spent my Sunday doing Ta-da! and ideally we're going to do it with this again too but I really don't need the red um, because I don't have a big red mushroom okay so I don't really need these dots so I'm not gonna waste my time on that now So we're just going to scooch these guys onto the floor. Okay. Now this, actually, I don't want to move this. I'm going to use a different cutting. Did you see what happened there? Oh, static. Static is your enemy. You just jumped right off the table. Okay. I'm going to move this, and I'm going to bring in another cutting pad because I don't want to move this. I lost another red one. Static. Got it. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Actually, I only need these two. Okay, so <laughs> anyway, we're going to move that over to the side. We're going to bring in another cutting pad. Don't worry, I got lots of mangy ones. And we're going to do the same thing with white and also with the crumb cake. So actually, I should have done the crumb cake. Let's do crumb cake first. How do I know this worked? Oh, it's because I cut out about seven different mushrooms. Actually, that's probably a better way. Okay, where... Where's my bag of mushrooms? Oh, that sounded wrong. Where's my bag of mushrooms? Where's my bag of mushrooms? <laughs> ah. Okay. So here's some that I did earlier. Here's a white one. I don't have a small white one. Oh, I don't. So I do have to go through this, don't I? Oh, here's a big white guy. Okay, so. And I need a red one. So we've got a red. I've got a white. Okay, I need a crumb cake. What you really need to do is cut out these and then you're going to cut them out again to do the um, the polka dotties. So I think I'm just not going to stress too much about this. I'll try it again. I need a big one and I don't need a little one. Okay, so here's the uh, crumb cake. Okay, so I'm going to take off the die. Lost one. Hang on. That's okay. He's still in the die. So we're going to put him back. This is not a card you mass produce. You only give it to people who will never throw it away. Okay, so there's our mushroom. Okay, so I'm gonna lift off. Oops. 
stay there, buddy. I'm gonna lift off what I can and try not to move them much. Okay, so there we have it like that. Now I'm gonna bring in my the white piece that I cut out earlier. So I don't need you. You don't need to watch me do that again. And I'm just going to place this over the. No, I'm not. I'm gonna place it over the polka dots mostly. Okay. Now I'm missing a few, so where did they go? Um, let me just see. It's not in the die. Did he just, like, gravity? Oh, there he is. I see him. He's so little, that one. Okay, so we're just putting it back in like a puzzle. I'm going to pick up this little dot. And put him back where he goes. All right, so now, now you swear a few times. Now you see why this was a two hour card for me? Okay, so is everybody back where they need to be? Mostly, it's not, oh, this guy's trouble. It's trouble. I wanna try a different technique that it might keep this from happening. Get in there, you. Okay. And this guy's upside down. And now that guy popped over oh, for heaven's sakes. Are you having fun yet? But it's such a pretty card. Okay, you stay there. Now he flipped over. Okay. Get in there and nobody move. Don't breathe. Stay. Stay. Jerk. Okay. All right. So now I'm bringing in my press and seal. Okay. What explains a lot? What did I miss? I don't even know what I said. Okay. So I am going to grab my press and seal. And I'm going to cut off a chunk. Or tear it or something. I guess I'll cut it. No, I won't. I'll tear it. Okay. I'm going to take this press and seal. And I'm going to... Those little suckers flipped over again when I wasn't watching. They're mocking me, you guys. Seriously mocking me. Okay, you stay there. Only because I have people watching, right? There we go. Okay, slam that down quick. Grab your press and seal. Sandwich that down before they move again. <laughs> Washi tape might help, but it's just... it's. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know who you are. Go away. Go away. Go away. All right, so we're sandwiching this down. So now he's not going to put popping up all over the place. So give it a good rub, especially on those naughty little dots. Now we're going to lift up the whole shebang and everything should be stuck to the press and seal. If there is any luck in my day. There we go. Okay, so there we have it. The whole thing is there. Yes, that's my next trick, Donna. I'm going to do that on the next pass and see if that works better. Yeah. Um, so here we have this whole piece. So I'm going to do that on the next color, Donna. So you're ahead of, ahead of me, but yes, that's what I want to try. So I'm going to turn it over because now we need to make sure that these dots aren't going to move anywhere. How are we going to move this onto our circle, right? We need it to sandwich onto our circle. So I'm grabbing my tear and tape. And I am just going to cement my pieces in with my tear and tape. like so and then this guy like so and I can clean that up afterwards so that's not going to go anywhere so now I can peel it off the tear and tape 
peel the tear and tape off of this and hopefully they will stay in place. I'm just I'm being a little careful because I don't have to go through that again. Okay. And then I can just trim that, trim the tear and tape up a little bit. So there's our white one. Now I did find a red dot. So here's a red dot and I can pop that out and glue him on there. Let's just do that because I don't want to have to run through another red. So for that, I just grab my liquid glue and I'm just going to put a little dab there. And I mean, this, this putty tool is your best friend. Keep him there. So there is a white mushroom with the crumb cake pieces and a red dot. And it doesn't want to focus so good. So there we go there. Okay, now I want a crumb cake one with white dots. So for that one, I need a crumb cake mushroom. So again, just run through, I ran through a crumb cake one um, and I didn't keep the pieces because your head will explode after a while. So I just, I ran through and I got myself a crumb cake one and I scooched all the brown pieces away. But now I need the white pieces for both the big one and the little one so they both have white so i'm going to grab my white scrap now this one we're going to try what donna was suggesting is i'm going to try running it through with a piece of tear and tape on the back now originally i thought well no because then that's going to cut it's going to cut well, so what? So what if it cuts? <laughs> like, so I'm thinking this will work better. It doesn't matter if it cuts. We'll, uh, like it's going to cut the, the, um, press and seal. That's okay. I think. So let's run this through. A bag of mushrooms, right, Melanie? <laughs> it just sounded wrong. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. I think this will work. It's, just, it's stuck to my... Uh... Let's do this. Okay. So we're taking off our die. Now we're going to take off our... Everything. Take off the white. I'm just... As long as the dots don't stick so well to the... I don't know. Okay, so this is going to come out. It's cut the, hmm, well, we'll see. We'll see. The first way was fairly painful, right? <laughs> now it's cut most of the press and seal. Hey, Coda. Now, it might be too squished down. I don't know if I'm going to be able to separate these. I guess we'll find out in a second here. Because I really want this to work. Because... <laughs> The other way is a little painful. Okay, how am I going to do this? Let's do... Coda. I just need to get it started, I think. Not sure that this is going to work. We'll see. It's pressed down pretty darn good. No, that's not working. I think that's an experiment fail, Donna. Darn. I was hopeful. I was hopeful on that one. Yeah. Because I can't get the press and seal off of the main mushroom. Give me a minute. Let me try. I'll try for a minute here. I don't hold much hope, though. Because it's, it's cut. Yeah, it's just made it all one. So that's not working out. Okay, back to plan A. Good thought. Didn't work out in execution, though. So... Back to our original. Is this now done? I don't know. Okay. All right. Let's try again. 7.33. Yeah, you're going to watch me do this. You sure are. Signing in late. Oh, that's okay, Bev. I'm just, I'm experimenting and things. Some are working, some aren't. So I'm going to do this again. We're going to go through. Now, if you don't have press and seal, uh, Tracy had pointed out that you can use um, the sticky part of a post-it note. That will absolutely work too. It's just that the press and seal is bigger than the sticky part of most um, 
post-it notes. So we have a little bit more space here. So let's see if these are going to work and behave. Okay, didn't mean to move that, but I did. Okay, this one's pretty big. Everybody back in your holes. Get back in there. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then this guy. So that wasn't too bad so far. We'll see if they want to stay in place for the next process. Okay, so everybody back in your holes. You too, little fella. Like that. Okay. Take off this. Everybody stay where you need to be. Okay, so I, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the crumb cake one to be in the big. So I'm going to move this. Little guy, you're jumping for it, are you? Okay, you go. Be free, little one. Okay. And then this one. So you can see how the person that you give this card to, you have to like them an awful lot. Okay. Look. Okay, it's working. All right. It's working. So we'll put in the red or the poppy. There. Ah, it worked. That one was perfect. Nobody move. Okay. Then this little fella, that's fine. You can just be a little bit... I can, I can do it. This little guy's back in there. I feel like I'm playing Operation. Zzz. That was me hitting the side on the Operation game, in case you didn't know what that was. Get in there. <laughs> Stay. Stay. Okay, I'm going to grab this before anybody moves. Sandwich. Oh, you little sucker. Get in there. I will not be beaten. You will. Get in your hole. You too. I don't even care if you're upside down at this point. Okay. <laughs> I bet you do, Bev. <laughs> okay, this one's a little crooked, but that's okay. Get in there. All right, so we're smashing it down, giving it a good rub. I'm going to peel the whole thing off so that it's stuck to the press and seal. Everybody comes up. Oh, no, we missed one. Get in there. You're coming. Don't fight it. There you go. Okay. So that one was a lot easier than the first one. Okay. And then grab your tearing tape. Okay. This, this is the same process. You can do it with larger dies that have um, chunks cut out. There's one of our flowers. Um, I saw Kylie Bertucci do this um, last year. Our flower, it's a super big flower one, this one, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, there was pieces, and so she put pieces in, alt in a different color in doing this technique, and it was not as fiddly as this because these pieces are super tiny. But that's okay. And if I had a fingernail, that would rip there. Okay. That. Okay, now I'm pretty confident that I can rip these guys off now. Hi, Sheila. Were your ears burning? We were talking about you last night, Sheree and I. I was very confused as to how you were her upline when you live in Alberta. And she's in Ontario, and I was confused because I thought she was in Saskatchewan, and oh, I don't know the whole thing. Were your ears burning? How's the move going? Craft room back together yet? All right, so we're peeling this off, and now we have our mushrooms with all of their little different polka dots. 
Uh, I'm just going to trim up some of this tear and tape. Now the white one, you will know, or this red, uh, red, the Poppy Parade one, let's call them what they are. He has a white stem. All I did was snipped him off of his head on the white one. Grab some of my glue. And Bob's your uncle. There you go. Ta-da! 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 Now, these little guys over here, these were the red ones. Now I wanted the red one. Oh, that was from the little guys. Okay. I want this one to be red. But anyway, I could I could color it with a marker. That might make life a heck of a lot easier. Huh? What do you think? It's using my head for more than a hat rack, right? This one is now going to be poppy. Whether he wants to be or not, we're going to color him. More than one way to pluck a chicken. Like that. Okay. Not quite as striking, but it'll work because I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> Bob's not your uncle. Johnny is. Okay. All right. Okay. So now I just need to cut out two of my fern leaves, one in crumb cake and one in white. Be right back. Uh, let's see. Making a mess here. What else is new? So I need crumb cake. Like so. Anybody else do that? They just throw their, oh, throw their dies around until the piece pops out like that and then it falls on the floor. There you go. Uh, and then you gotta find the die. There it is. Oh, there's a white one on the floor already. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Look at that. <laughs> My floor is a treasure trove of things. It's great. Okay, now we can just assemble. So, <sighs> right, what have we got here? We've got our Sahara sand circle and he is being taped down flat. Ooh, thanks Sheila. Move day tomorrow. Oh. Uh, oh, your husband's cousin. There you go. Excellent. She's quite lovely. All right, so we're going to pop this down. Let me see how I did that. I put this down here. Uh, I actually didn't really cement it down. I grabbed my crumb cake and I just tucked it under until it stuck to something. <laughs> It'll come up. Oh no! Look what I did! That's not okay. All right. Well, apparently coloring that little thing. Okay. Oh, red, you guys. Okay, do over. <clears throat> not okay. Gotta do it again. Mr. Circle, here you are. Crafting bloopers. Actually, I wonder if the mushroom would cover it. Will the mushroom cover it? Let's see. No. <laughs> Donna, you and I are in sync, girl. Just there's the delay in yours, your message getting to me. So no, it wouldn't wasn't quite in the right spot. So we're just going to avoid this whole finger. Okay. Now I popped, uh, these mushrooms are down flat. So for those I can and will, I'm going to put some tape down here. Yeah, no, it wasn't going to cover it, Jennifer. I had to do over. That's okay. So I'm going to take the tops off of the tear and tape because dimensionals and other stuff won't stick to the wax paper on this tear and tape. So the trouble is I've got them overlapping each other now. And that one wants to take the polka dot with it. So no, no, not okay. that and 
this one. That's the problem with the small pieces of tear and tape is it's kind of hard to get this top off. Okay, so this little guy, I like when things overhang the circle. So I think I'm going to a little bit, could go right to the edge or a little bit higher than the circle on him. And then this one too, I'll put some tape down there. And we'll lift these off. Uh oh, that guy's gonna, he's gonna fly. He's not gonna stay. He needs more, more tape. So you're you're figuring out how oh I'm stuck. Ah! That's strong. How this took me two hours to come up with this card, right? Come on, you can do it. This one's going to stay. Okay, and then so we're going to go like this with this one. And then the red one I popped up. But again, we need to take off these backings because the dimensionals will not stick to the wax paper. So take that off. Like that. Now I'm gonna grab my dimensionals. So like last night, I'm using some big ones and some small ones. Okay, and he's going to go down here. I don't like this. You know I'm going to run this through the machine again and cover him up, don't you? <laughs> You know it's going to happen. Um, and then, right, I need the white guy. So he put a little bit of glue just on the one side that's going to... Well, last night I did it on the wrong side, of course. Of the fern. So go like that. Try not to get red on it. Lie him down over here. Look at that. I ha and I uh, I went back and I added some rhinestones this morning. And then Alicia and I both decided, nope, the rhinestones didn't work. So I'm going to run through uh, the big one in the poppy because I want to get some of these. Ah, that hurts. Okay. I want to get the poppy circles. And the nice thing about like running these through for the circles is now I'll have it. I'll have an extra poppy shape, like the big poppy for the next time if I want to do a, a big poppy mushroom. So I want in particular this, this one. Aha! Got you. Pop him down there. And I really kind of wanted this guy too. This guy, well, we're gonna have to live with it like that because then my numbers are off. So there we go, like that. And we are done. Don't you love it? I love it. I love, 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 love it. Yeah, no, it wouldn't work, Lorraine. It was in the wrong orientation. So um, maybe it could have, but yeah. Okay, so it is 7.48. What else can I show you? Maybe let's uh, let's run the rest of the dies through some scrap and just see how they all look. Uh, what color shall we do? Let's do... What's one I haven't used in a while? Do, do, do. Um, I was on a real roll using this uh, papaya. It was on my second or third pack, but... I think it was because 
we had, um, what were we using this papaya with? That hand penned paper or something. I don't know what we're using it for, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to cut all these other things out and just see how they look. I want to see what this wasp is like. He kind of creeps me out a little bit, not going to lie. So let's see how these go. That's going to be too long to go through my cutter. So I have to do a few passes, I think. All right, be right back. Hang on. We can fit that and the wasp. I'm sure it's supposed to be a bee, but I don't know. I find them a little creepy. Ta da! And the bird. Oh, it will fit. Sure, it will. Now. Mm. Um. Um. Here it is. Sometimes I'll go back and forth a few times, but I can't always if the die moves and the dies all moved. So that's not an option at this point in time. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much Donna. All right. So let's look at the pieces we've got here. All right. Let's look at the flowers. So the flower is another one you could do that paper, pa paper piecing with. Um, okay. Thanks, Bev. How am I feeling? I'm feeling good. Shouldn't I be feeling good? Why wouldn't I be feeling good? I don't understand the question. Was I feeling bad? I'm tired. I don't sleep ever. Okay, so this guy didn't cut properly on the one leaf. He was a little close to that bird. I think he was overhanging the bird. Okay. Tell you, I'm sure enjoying my walks these mornings. I dress, I was, it was three degrees when I left the house. Oh, see, like you could totally do the paper piecing. Oh, I only have nine minutes though. Um, and do it in a different color. Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it, you guys. Okay, we're going to do this one with the same technique, okay? Here's the bird. Oh, the bird is a little creepy, you guys. Like, how are you supposed to attach this bird to anything with all these holes? I guess if he was like over something like this... How do you attach this bird? You'd have to use this adhesive backs. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Bev. <laughs> yeah, see, I miss half the conversations here. Because I'm working, you know. Laser focused. Look, even my hair is tired. <laughs> okay, so the bird, I don't know. He's a little weird. Um, Here's a flower. Eh. These parts could kind of pop up a bit, but not very much. So no, the wasp is weird. Yeah, no, don't like him at all. He's creepy. These are nice. I could, I could deal with these. Okay. But I want, I want to cut this flower out. Okay. Uh, is there a child down here? I think I hear a child. Hi, what you doing? Are you working? Are you trying to work? What's happening? Do you want to work? Are you working? What's happening? I'm not working right now. Are you going to be? Oh, okay. All right. So, oh, you like the wasp, Nancy? Yeah. Okay. You can have it. I'll mail it to you. Ew. Okay. So I'm going to try with the press and seal. Do I have any out? I'm going to use this piece again, I think. What color should I do the center? Let's do the center blue on this one okay so we're going to try again we're going to get this and we're going to get this and it fits hallelujah okay so we're going to do this okay so it actually okay this one look what happened here so they're all still in here. So how can I make this work? If I put the press and seal, uh, no, that's not going to work. So, oops. Okay. Never mind. Okay. We're going to go like this. Maybe I could put press and seal down. Okay. There's gotta be, 
We're going rogue now. Okay, let's do this. And so we're not cutting it out like we did the first time. Like Donna had thought, and I had thought it might work, but we're going to put this guy back in. And now we're going to stick to the press and seal, maybe. And then we're going to try to just pop the pieces onto the press and seal, she said. Okay, that's working so far. Maybe I should get in the field of vision, hey? Okay. Uh, sorry about that. No, I can't really zoom in closer. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't, can I? I don't know. Let's try. Okay, what is this? Uh, over at camera? Yeah. I don't know how. No, because it's working from this guy up here. and No, I can't. That's the short answer. So now I'm going to go like this. Oh, I missed a little guy. Where's that little guy? Oh, he's still in here. It will free you, little fella. Hang on. In you go. There you go. Your new home. Uh-huh. Okay, right, press. Now, uh, I'm going to get another piece. Where's the other piece? Here we go. I think I'll press it on the top. Turn it over. Peel off the back. Oh my god. Oh, uh oh. Maybe. Yep. Okay, this one's working. I kind of want those centers out, but whatever. I'll grab my tearing tape. Could I pick two weirder colors? I'm not sure I could have. But anyway, we'll get the idea. And now I'm going to secure them all. Uh, I wonder if I could just tape it. I don't feel like tearing tape in him. Let's just secure it with some tape. And stick it on a card. Do you think? No, maybe that's not going to work. Nope. Let's try Bertram. See, you try to make a shortcut. Okay, so we're going to... Now it's all nice and sticky. Okay. Okay, and I'll just get these little guys in here. Um, sure, good enough. Peel it off. Look at that, 757. Okay, a really weird flower combination color. <laughs> but it just goes to show that the system does work. And then if I were to stick it on something, I have nothing to stick it on. Stick it on a card here. Well, I don't want to use it for anything, it's hideous. Um, but you get the idea. Peel off the backs. Hi, Coda. Mama's working. Okay. Peel off the backs. Plus, I've got the tape on there already. Oh, sticky. But you get the idea. I'm going to have to do this again for a video. Maybe I should master the technique before I do a video on it. <laughs> okay, and like that. I flip it over, stick it to the table. Bam. I'm sure that's faster than cutting them out and actually sticking each little piece in with glue dots, right? <laughs> I would think so. I don't know. It's a bit of fun. I mean, no, it's not something you're going to do every week, but look how cute it is. Come on. Don't you want a mushroom card? Doesn't everybody want a pretty mushroom card? I love him. This guy needs a glue dot. Look at that. It is 
It's like I plan these things, and you know I don't. You know I don't. Ta-da! Anything is possible. <laughs> That's it, you guys. 7.59. I am going to go work on a eulogy. And at some point, I'm going to go to bed. Thank you for popping in. I hope you learned something. And if not, or maybe you learned that you'll never try this technique. Maybe you learned, you learned that you need to have this um, die set for the wasp. Maybe you learned that this is a really creepy bird. Maybe you learned that you need mushrooms in your life. Don't you think? Everyone gets one for Christmas. Okay, Mel Melanie has just offered to make these for everyone for Christmas. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm off to my next chair. We'll see you guys uh, next week for Mystery Card Monday. I got nothing going on this week except running to the mountain. Oh, it's Halloween on Sunday. It's my dad's birthday on Monday. You know what? I might not be in on Monday. I'll have to see what the plan is with the family. So I may or may not be here Monday, but I'll post. If there's not going to be a Mystery Card Monday, I'll let you know. Um, if we celebrate on Sunday, then I will have Mystery Card Monday. So thank you, Bev. I love it too. I just love it. Makes me happy. So uh, I'll see you sometime. Don't know when. Okay, talk to you later. Thanks. Iconic dies, Nancy. <laughs> it's at the back of the book. It's not, it doesn't have a stamp set. It's just the dies. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Bye.